<laughs> Two. One. <laughs> Hello. Uh, my name is Sharon Azams, and I am the RSU's Vice President of Community and Welfare. Today, I'm joined with Mushtaq, Dent, and Jean, if you guys would like to introduce yourselves. Yeah, so hi, I'm Jean Masekini. I'm the current Black Students Officer for the university. Nice. I'm Mishtaq Ishmael. I'm your Vice President of Education at the RSU. And my name, drumroll, is Den Patrick. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm the Provo College President. Cool, nice. Of course the drum roll. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting on it, actually. No, yeah. honestly, he had to do something, didn't he? Uh, cool. We're basically here today to just talk about, well, to let you guys know a little bit about who we are as your officers, some of the black officers at the RSU, um, some of the things we're working on this year, but more importantly about Black History Month. So who wants to take it away? I suppose I will. Cool. Yeah, yeah so um, obviously we all know Black History Month is starting on Saturday, the 1st of October. Yeah. And obviously, it's been a very long summer of planning. We've been doing loads of stuff, and there's an, a very extensive itinerary happening this month, this coming month. Yeah. Cool. So, like, for you guys, like, what's something you're really looking forward to this month? Or if it's, like, if a student could only go to one thing, what would you say they should go to? Mm. Yeah, it's a long list. Yeah, that, yeah. That's a tough one, yeah. in all honesty. Yeah. I think, personally, I think the trip to... The local farm. Um, yeah. I think that that's going to be really exciting. I think um, you get to get in touch with your roots <laughs> indirectly. Not the pond. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Not the pond. But, but, but I think I'm really excited oh, about that, you know. Yeah. Um, also just to see uh, black entrepreneurs, like, doing that thing, you know. Yeah, so, doing So, yeah. Sick. What about you, Mashtar? I don't think I have a specific... Also, I'm going to apologise now for my voice. Um, I'm still recovering from Freshers' Week, which I hope you guys all had a really good time out and enjoyed. Why am I next to her? Um, shut up. <laughs> You'll be fine. Uh, but I think my. I don't think I have one particular event or one particular day in mind. It's just the idea of celebrating stories black stories that aren't always pain and trauma, trauma. and slavery and, and racism was really yeah bad and guys. it's i think a lot yeah. of times i think black history Month should be used to not only obviously that stuff is very important it's integral to the story and you know the history of the lives that we live today but i think a lot of times like like dent said like black entrepreneurs yeah, black stories sure. of like for example us we're in like leadership positions in a you know in a higher education institution things like that for me is really important to show other people that they can not be going on the representation spiel but they, they can no, do the same thing because i would have never thought of doing this job if it wasn't for a friend of mine really pushing me to do it and i really hope that us in these positions now do the same thing for other potential Roehampton students to think about their next steps yeah for sure. i guess that kind of goes on to like the next question so like what was the thing that made you guys want to run or like why is even having like black people in leadership positions is important because for me if it wasn't obvious I'm not from this country um, <laughs> not a lot of black people in Ireland um, so for me I was like oh damn let me be the one this is cool this is not a thing back in Dublin um, so yeah it was just that thing for me of like again on the whole like cele um, celebration like side of things as well and just I feel like it's important that people not that I think that big of myself but like that people have like people to look up to or even just like people in those positions sort of show that well if they can do it you can do it as well so that was more of the thing for me as well and also just yeah like it was just a great opportunity to sort of like make those changes for black students on campus because as well like I know for a lot of not like in Roehampton particularly but just like UK wide it's really rough out here for black people in certain <laughs> universities they're really out here struggling bro so I was like damn like might as well do something. Um, but yeah, so like what made you guys want to run or like why do you think like your kind of roles, yours especially, um, is important? Um, so I'll say um, the way I found out about this particular role was actually just I walked up to a stall <laughs> that Sharon was um, hosting, so to say, and I just literally spoke to her. And I think that's the importance of like having figures that look like yourself because she's the one who inspired me to actually I run. I paid her to do it. <laughs> <laughs> I paid her to I do it. I saw that five in all honesty. Yeah, I slipped her a little, Slip. yeah. Yeah, but same like her, like who else better than myself to run for this particular yeah, position? 
I'm incredibly passionate about my people and my culture. So I think um, also obviously because I am an African immigrant, um, it's just kind of like very important because I'm probably one of the first people in my family to actually go to university, let mm. alone hopefully graduate, you know? Mm. Yeah. So in that regard, it's kind of like what I'm busy doing is quite monumental, not just for myself, but my family as well. Mm. So I think in that regard, like representation is so important for all of us. For sure. Yeah. I think my reason, um, and I'm not going to you this, I can't tell you that this was my reason when I originally went for the job. Um, I just needed a job. Times yeah. are hard. <laughs> was um, it was a whole. That it was, was a different whole different. <laughs> but I'm very proud of it now, and I, I do love what I'm doing now. But <laughs> sorry, I was just smiling for the picture. Um, but I think a big thing for me is just lived experience. Yeah. And the way that comes into so many aspects of my job, and I think a really big one is the way that students communicate with me yeah. that they might not communicate with people who don't look like me no, and I think a lot of times that gives me the, a really valuable skill of maybe um, th- opinions and thoughts and feelings that wouldn't have been conveyed to somebody else because they don't necessarily feel in, like comfortable around them or yeah, sure. they don't know the way that that person will feel around like negative feedback I'm very much like you could tell me whatever even if it's dragging me like it's fine I'll hear it we we move like <laughs> And really it do. really is like yeah. honestly I'm just like okay you're kind of skinned me a little bit but it's fine I'll move it's okay um, mm. and I think that's really important because I think a lot of times and I think that inherently comes from like my culture my blackness like we give each other a hard time a lot of the time but it's never it's always I'm, I'm telling you this so you can do better mm. and I feel like a lot of times there's, there's been times where I've relayed messages and other people are like oh that was like really harsh or that mean of them saying I'm like no like I would rather them tell me the issue so I can fix it because my feelings at the end of the day they're not relevant to the situation I'm here to do my best to make changes for the students that elected me um, and that I now represent and I think that's a really important thing because I think there's a lot of problems here we are a university see there's more than 50% yeah. non-white and a lot of times if you look at meetings committee boards if you go into rooms the people that are representing us and making serious decisions that like that directly implement students lives don't represent the students <clears throat> and I feel like what I felt in the education department because that's what I do is that sometimes there's a big disconnect so I feel like even me just being in spaces inherently I'm having conversations that potentially wouldn't have been had before and I think that's like a real pl- privilege of my job and something that I'm really proud of yeah for sure I feel like with the RSU like it is the whole thing of representation and so for those students who might not feel like they're able to use their voice or don't know how to use their voice it's kind of like where that voice for them in the meantime and sort of like I guess just showing them that there is still change that they can do as well because obviously like I'm sure like you guys know it's like to be the only black person in a room or just things like that as well and ordinarily like Mushtaq was saying like you'd probably just swallow and be like it is what it is. Like, yeah. what can I do? You get what yeah. I mean? But, like, uh, it takes one person to actually stand up. And so, for other people, it may seem a bit harsh, but it's not, in reality, it's not really harsh. It's just, like, years and years of pal- pent up, built experience. Um, yeah, so it's quite interesting. What yeah. about you, Dent? I should have gone first, man. I oh. can't compete, man. <laughs> we took all his points. It, it was about it popularity. Is true. You, can't, you can't compete. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Oh, wow. No, please, um, tell us the story. Tell us, we want to know. We want to know. Really Go on, to please. Popular, you know? yeah. nah, 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 he's a friend. He's a friend. the tiny violin. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the lead. Um, I don't know. I think for me, Frobo College just, it, it, it resonated with me more than I actually thought. And it actually took me to live off of Frobo and just experience Digby mm. to kind of realize that. Frobo feels a lot more like home for me, you know. Mm. Um, I haven't traveled a lot. I've been privileged to travel a lot. I've, uh, missing home has never been a problem because I travel, then go back home, travel, then go back home. But then now you move and you're like, oh, my goodness. I'm stuck. The weather's what can bad, I, the food's <laughs> Yeah, what can I resonate with? telling me about mashed potatoes. <laughs> and then, do you, wait, hold on. As the Frobo president, do you say zebra or zebra? Whatever mm. my tongue feels he like. Assimilates. <laughs> However my he assimilates. He does what like everyone else around him. Whatever does. everyone else does. Zebra, but it's a yeah. zebra. I, I'd say zebra, I think. Um, and speaking of zebra, I think that's that's the first sign of kind of like um, uh, symbolism that I kind of felt like 
this is home because okay. our national animal back in Botswana is the zebra. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, so it, it, it made a lot of sense. You know, we've got a campaign called Earn Your Stripes Back at Home. Mm. And, you know, I, I as I watched even the football team here, you know, the black and white, even our flag is black, it's blue, black and white. And those are kind of the things, you know, you just replace the green of, of, of Roehampton <laughs> and Frobo, it, it's mm. blue. And then, so there's a lot of things that I kind of, felt at home with and for me that then made me understand that probably i'm not the only one feeling like this you know i'm not the only one feeling like i'm not home mm. and in my position basically it's to also show people that even when you're not at home you can still step out of your comfort zone you can yeah, still step out of your shell sure. you know you you don't have to crumble to the pressure that <clears throat> is you're in a foreign country, you don't know people, mm. you don't have friends. Just get out there, shine, because, you know, it, we're in one world, in all honesty, at the end of the day. And there are people who are exactly like you, who feel the same things as you do, and who who also want good things for the next person. And, and sometimes it just takes that little bit of awareness just to say, what do I resonate with? Yeah. And, and then you just hold on to that, and you just grow from there. And that, for me, I think... Um, is one of the reasons why I just ran, you know. Um, I don't want to get too deep with it, but in all honesty, flow, for me, flow, it was, flow, 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 flow. Yeah, it, it, <laughs> I beg. <laughs> I think that's just the one thing that kind of just got me to say, do this, and you might just inspire a lot more people who are in a similar position as you. Yeah. You know, so. And I guess as well for you, because you're like big into sports as well. Yeah. Like, um, so funny enough, I almost ran for, for male sports president, you know. I didn't know that. Yeah, I, I really wanted that because at the end of the day, I'm a sportsman through and through. That's what I love. I just so happen to be kind of good at politics a little bit. Just, oh. <laughs> I, I've, I've got a very huge interest in politics as well. But um, yeah, I really wanted to run for it. and I, But I just felt that I could do more as football president um, because there I'll have kind of like I'll be able to like engage with the sports, yeah, yeah. with other colleges, and try and build something um, quite bigger than me. And and sports would definitely be included. So look out for something. You know, mm -hmm. got something in the pipeline already. Nice, nice, nice. Cool. We'll support you from the sidelines because I don't enjoy <laughs> I don't I don't enjoy sweating. So yeah, I'll just. But we will will observe. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. Do a little training. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Sharon will chill I won't chill I'll tell you something there's a little bit for everyone and and definitely I'll make a poster this I'll, make a, I'll make a flag I'll make a flag I'll make us do sport uh, mm, oh. I'll quit oh. I will handle my resignation I'm going to resign I'm going to resign that's just not what I signed up for honestly oh. cool I guess in the same vein as well like what campaigns will you guys be working on this year or like what are the like big things that are important to you that you're trying to like look out for this year John, if you want to go first, maybe. Um, yeah, so um, I'm just getting my fitting, so to say. But um, I suppose um, one of the reasons why I also ran for black students officers is because I recognize from the literature that there is quite a massive problem with student retention amongst the black students. Yeah. So we are more likely than any other um, ethnic group to drop out, out of out of university in the first year. So that to me is something that I'm very passionate about. I'm very passionate about black students staying engaged with the university, but also feeling comfortable, but also and also feeling included. So I suppose like maybe like after Black History Month, one of the first campaigns I might um, look into is definitely how we can um, increase student engagement mm. amongst black students. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Go on. Yeah, yeah, I know, you there know, you go. <laughs> catch a vibe in that, you know, meet your people, yeah, you know. Cool. Um, what about you, Dent? <laughs> um, oh. I know you love to talk. Give it to me, give it to yeah. me. Um, but there's so many events. I think um, already when you're, when you are attached to uh, a college, there's a you find that there are traditions and certain things that true, are happening true, true. you know so i think the first most important thing mm. is to ensure that the history and the traditions don't die out mm. um so in as much as that's not the answer i think a lot of people are, <laughs> <laughs> are looking forward to hearing I, I think um that's the first thing i think um it's, it's to kind of maintain that 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 history and 
continue. You asked Dent what his plans for the year was, and he was like, he's "What they did before me." Uh, I'm just gonna keep rolling <laughs> with what they. Everyone who's like, mm-hmm. "Yeah, I'm interested in politics." This guy's a politician. <laughs> he's and avoided then... the answer. <laughs> I was waiting for him to land. I was like, "I'll give him time. I'll give him time." <laughs> but no, I think um, something that's really exciting um, is that I'm gonna I'm gonna formulate an, an award, an award for the end of the year. Um, we're currently still going through the guidelines of this award. Cool. But it's going to be something that resonates with who I am and what I believe in and, like, how... The Dan we Patrick could. Award. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, we, we, I don't want it to be cheesy, but... Uh, um, but definitely something that can recognize international students. Yeah. And, um, and just to encourage them so that they know that there's something. It's just my way of saying when I leave leave a little legacy behind yeah, of, legacy. to just encourage um, international students to kind of push on. Um, so this award will be launched at the Frobo Dinner, um, which is coming mm. up. Oh, yeah, so, you know, you get exclusive data <laughs> right now. Um, okay. But yeah, so look out for that. Uh, cool. You guys are invited. I will invite you guys. You Thank know, you very much. Do so, I get food though? Yeah, you get food, man. We feed yeah. people, man. <laughs> African vibes, you know. Oh, okay, <laughs> cool, cool, cool. But definitely, I think um, so. That's the main kind of thing I think that I that I'm really excited about doing, and hopefully it it, it grows bigger, and you know, because I've got big dreams for that award. So. Yeah. So wait, um, this award that you're talking about is this like a sports award? A, a w- what so type I, of vibe we're <laughs> going for so just to give you like I said we're working mm. on the parameters because we don't want to make an award that clashes with the other awards as well yeah. mm. so it's something that is very very different and unique mm. but what I will say is that it's an award that acknowledges international st- students mm. who excel greatly in whatever craft that they do cool mm. um like I said, we're still trying to find the fine, mm. sort out the finer details, but it's something that is definitely going to be international based. I think um, that's what we, we're leaning towards, and I think that's the right way to go about it. Especially if if I'm trying to allow students to put themselves in my shoes and, mm. and vice versa as well, so that they know that once upon a time there was a dent, yeah. you know, a dent. Left. So he is naming it after himself. Yeah. <laughs> It's fine, just it's okay. Just tell us, it's fine. No, I mean, like I said, we're still. He still hasn't mm. said no. <laughs> <laughs> Look, let's not give back into this problem. Oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, Mushtak. Um, yeah, Mushtak. Uh, see campaigns? how you push that on it. I know, honestly. <laughs> um, oh. <coughs> Why am I sitting uh, next to Apologies. Oh, gosh. Listen, you're a big, strong man. You'll be fine. Your immune system, if it can't hack it, it can't hack it. What can yeah. I do? What can I do? Um, I think a big thing for me this year is. Um, Obviously, cost of living crisis, dun, dun, dun. Mm. And I cannot fix that, and I am not promising to fix that. Um, but a, a big thing is I really want to do a campaign, and I've started some work on it with Growhampton, our lovely team at Growhampton, about Ooh. how students can, um, first of all, like, not I'm not giving you cooking lessons, but I'm giving you cooking yeah. lessons. Mm. Like, um so <laughs> don't laugh <laughs> it's no, a really they it. it's a, they ca- <laughs> 18 year olds can't cook it's tough like it's, it's actually true, nah, they're it's like true. barely surviving times, and if man. we have all last. this green space we've all this people. green space <laughs> and all these vegetables and you know how to make three dishes yeah no first of all your health is not looking great not. second of all I, I really want to create things that help people like use up everything they have so it doesn't get to the end of the month or the end of the week and yeah, yeah, you've yeah. got food that you don't know anything to because we all know they also don't know how to shop. They buy all this stuff and mm. then it goes to waste. And yeah. if it does go to waste, please put it in the community fridge. Thank you. Thank you. Um, but I think that's really important. And I think how that ties into Black History is it probably won't be happening during Black History Month because there is already um, a lot. So I didn't want to suffocate you guys. But um, I think a lot of agriculture in inherently, like it stems from... Africa it stems yeah. from the way in which we grab fruit and vegetables it, a For lot sure. of like there's a whole history of agriculture that we don't know and then the way in which it changed when we became when we had the ability to mass produce um and that was like the start of capitalism the downfall of our society but I won't get into that um but I think it's <laughs> really important podcast. yeah it's, 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 <laughs> give me give me another hour and I'll do that one for you but I think it's really important for people to know that a lot of times because I think in the in the UK 
we're quite removed from things in nature a lot mm-hmm. of times. Like, I'm not going to lie to you. No, you, but yeah, London in Yeah, if just, you'd asked yeah. me a couple of years ago, do you want to go on a hike? I'd be like, what do I look like going on a... Do you know what I mean? Like, or do you want to go and, like, we can, like, do an allotment and make our own mm. food? Like, I think a lot of times we categorise things as, like, that's for those people and this yeah. is for us. And inherently, it's not. And I yeah. think that we know there's mental health benefits to being outside in nature and growing your own food. We know there's community building, which a lot of Growhampton does. And, you know, whether it's students making their own jam, whether it's, like I said, them teaching them new recipes, things like that. I think that there's a lot of benefits. And I know I'm education, so mental health and stuff is not my thing. But I do think that for students to do well academically, they need to have a really great support yeah. system, mm. like community and emotionally. And I feel like that this is a way that we haven't ventured to so far. And I think that that could potentially be a really great way in like including students who maybe don't want to go to late night events and there's music and there's, you know, loud noise and there's uh, alcohol and things like that. Maybe for the students who prefer... Mm. Sir, if you don't shut the Someone you guys can like overlay a sound of like when he's lying like no, honestly, or something. Do a little like uh, yeah, like a DJ remix Ooh, or something. No, honestly. <laughs> because what is wow. the man saying? But Very yeah, scary. so maybe for students who don't feel comfortable in those environments, which I think we're really great at, you know, we do Bob, we do all these amazing things, to maybe try and do, have different sets of environments for students to build their community and hopefully thrive. Yeah, for sure. Because even like since the demographic of, Raham- of Rahampton has like changed so much rapidly, this, it's it's, cr- it's such a crazy jump. Um, and I know the RSC in particular, like we have been like obviously like we've been in conversations to sort of um, implement all of these different things, so that we are reaching out to those demographics that mature students feel catered to, mm-hmm. that students with caring cap- uh, responsibilities feel catered to, those with accessibility needs, mm-hmm. those um, with different religious beliefs. You know that there is something for everyone there. So I feel like that's just really great. To be honest, yeah. Thank you. I came up with it all by myself. No, I'm joking. I did. It was. It was. It was Ollie from Grahampton. He. He. He said, "Do you agree?" And I said, "Yes." Yeah. Yeah. Great. <laughs> cool. <laughs> I mean, yeah. You set up better than I ever could have. Same campaigns. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much. Different pretty much, campaigns. Honestly. One objective. Yeah. Yeah. Same yeah. Company. Pretty much. Pretty much. Yeah, same company. Me and Sharon yeah. complain to each other in the office, and we're like, "Uh huh, it's the same thing." Yeah. 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 I'd be like, "We see each other." Yeah. <laughs> nice. We see each other as well. Don't oh, we? yeah. He can't let us have a thing. He can't let us have a thing. He can't. He thinks it's a dance show. Honestly. Um. <laughs> on that note, um, yeah, I would just like to say, like, for everyone listening, do look out for all of the things that we're going to be having on throughout Black History Month. Like we said, there will be something. F- there's literally everything for everyone. We'll have free events. We'll have ticket events. We'll have um late night. Na- late night events daytime events or just ski trips on campus things off campus so yeah just a wide range of things and also please do keep up with our social media handles as well uh, to just see all the different campaigns that we're working on throughout the year and yeah thank you can I, also, can I just add oh sorry Donna. me first yeah go um, I just want to make a note that Spice. Black History shut the hell up <laughs> Black History Month events are not just for black students they are not for everybody she um, my line uh, <laughs> I'm so much smarter yeah. than him. What can I say? Um, uh, yeah, Roehampton is more than fifty percent <clears throat> non-white. So I think, if anything, you're doing yourself a disservice if you don't Completely. take this opportunity. University is one of the places where you're going to be surrounded with the most diverse Especially cohort of London. people. Yeah, mm. so really take this opportunity, and not just for Black History Month. Anything, any event that we have that maybe you are not part of a particular group or you don't um, align yourself with their thoughts yeah. or their beliefs, pop by, see how it is. Yeah. If you have a great time, you have a great time, and if it's not for you it's not for you you. no harm done just drop by see how it goes that was it from me thank you and that was it from Dan because I took his point so he has nothing left to say we're done perfect (laughs) so Sharon (laughs) (laughs) let's say I want to find out more about these events where am I going to go Great question, Dent. <laughs> As usual. Now that you've mentioned it, <laughs> to find out more about um, all of the events and different things going on throughout Black History Month, you can keep up to date with the Roehampton Student Union website and also at the Instagram page to see the breakdown of things that are going on throughout the month. And you will tag us. Yes. Yeah. We will tag oh, you, Dan. So um, make sure you stay on social media, pretty much. Yeah, yeah. pretty yeah. much. Turn our push <laughs> notifications on. Push, like, follow, oh, everybody. Subscribe. Comment. Everybody. All of the things. All yeah, of the everybody. things. All of the things. Okay.